as a assistant professor in Biani College of Science and Management, Kalwar, and with the help of Guru KPO, today I am delivering my lecture on eugenics and genetic counseling. Well, eugenics deals with the application of the laws of genetics for the improvement of the human race. The betterment of the human society can be achieved by following two methods. First of all, I come towards the euthanix. The improvement of the already existing human beings can be achieved by improving the environmental conditions, that is, by providing the human beings better medical facilities, better education facilities, better unpolluted ecological condition. Now, the second aspect is eugenics. It deals with the artificial selection of physically and mentally sound individuals and rejection of the defective individuals such as there are two aspects of positive eugenics. The one of the aspect I am telling you, some of the highly placed persons of the society, they have high ambitions in their life. So, these persons which have high ambitions in their life, they often devote the most part of their youth in fulfilling their ambitions. The biological and psychological evidences have revealed that these persons which have high ambitions, they lack in emotional warmth for their sexual activities. And so, such laws should be formulated by the government by placing high taxation on such persons to prevent their late marriages. Now the second aspect is genetic counseling. It seeks to explain to parents having children with genetic disorders the probability and nature of these disorders to help the parents to reach decisions in the light of future generation. Now the last on topic is you Phoenix, the symptomatic treatment of the genetic diseases of men is called as euphenix. One of the best example of euphenix is phenylketonuria. Babies suffering with phenylketonuria are unable to properly metabolize an amino acid phenylalanine. So, it results in chemical imbalance in the body causing severe mental retardation. Now, I come towards the second aspect of euphenic studies, anemia. Scientists studied two types of anemias, that is Coulis anemia and leprosy anemia in man resulting in abnormally low hemoglobin production in individuals homozygous for mutations at beta chain locus hoping that someday they may discover the factors regulating the beta chain activity and thereby increase the synthesis of beta chain activity in the body. And so, however, if the mechanism of regulating hemoglobin in the fetus and in the adults can be discerned, they might cure two lethal conditions. First of all, thalassemia proper and sickle cell anemia resulting in the suppression of these synthesis of beta chain synthesis and increasing the amount of gamma chain synthesis in the body. Now the last part is gene therapy. Gene therapy are two types, patient therapy and the embryo therapy. In patient therapy, cells of the healthy genes, they are inserted or injected in the affected tissue without affecting the inheritance of the parents. So, the patient therapy deals with isolation or the identification of the defective gene finding out the normal gene and insulation, uh, insertion of the normal gene inside the affected tissue. Now what is embryo therapy? In the embryo therapy, the genetic constitution of the embryo is altered at the post gigotic level. So the inheritance of the parent or the embryo is also altered. It deals with in vitro fertilization of the egg and insertion of the normal gene 
in the embryo at the post zygotic level and secondly and thirdly with the insertion of this gene into the DNA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kindly visit my website www.groupkpo.com for this topic.